Hi, welcome to this community. My name is Sophia. Okay, <clears throat> so I was getting a lot of things this morning and as usual when I come in to do the reading and zoning or honing, whatever the word is, to know what the actual reality of what's happening, the physical world, because that's what you want to know, not in the energetic 5D, uh, jack shit, basically. And it's disappointing, really, um, that nothing's really happening with your person. I feel I tapped into why that is, and I feel that they fear rejection. Now, you might say, no, I won't reject my person. The fear of rejection is because they can't offer you what you want. That's why they are not coming towards you. So it's about them still working on themselves to give you an uh, offer that is... Now, you could have a load of stuff, but they offer you... Like, say there's 10 things wrong. And generally, there is quite a high amount of things wrong in a twin flame. There's no wrong or right on this planet. So that is against your needs, your true authentic needs with your person. And generally, they offer one two max out of the 10. So if they can balance that out a little bit more to five or six, that will be fine. They're, they're not doing that at the moment, no. So that's what they need to work on, to work on offering you more than what they can show up with at the moment. So I feel they're wanting to do it, they're ready to do it, but they haven't done it. They haven't worked on so, for example, your person doesn't express that they love you. This is about them like, okay, I'm, I'm going to do it. So they're working on themselves now to show up and express it. Before, they're like, yeah, I will, and I'll see counselling, or I'll figure it out. You know, now it's like, okay, I'm going to do it, so working on that. So they're still in their cave, man, woman cave over there, working on themselves. With you, as I was saying, there's different scenarios. If you're working on yourself, you should be feeling quite fabulous at this moment, right? Should be pentacles. Um, if not raising, then you feel that there is a possibility of an increase in your wage. You should be doing things that you love. You should be quite happy at the moment. If you're in a relationship, that should be going good. If you're not, I just want to say, um, if you're if you're like me, I'm I'm still fucking all good. I'm still doing my mission. I'm still helping people. Oh, Geo, if you're watching, thanks for answering the comment for Lex in the Facebook because Lorraine runs the Facebook and she was off yesterday, so someone left a comment. If you're watching, you have any? Well, not a comment. Sorry, a question. If you have any questions, I was asking about Twin Flame 1, 2, and 3, any questions about anything to do with this journey, yourself, your person, uh, chuck it in the Facebook uh, group. Uh, and um, like, uh, not normally no other person can answer it, but Geo is different. So um, generally mission people, but Geo is fine to answer the questions as well. Anyway, so back on track. So with you, like, you should be all good. You should be feeling, if you're not, then you're not working on yourself enough. If you're depressed and unhappy, you're not working on yourself enough. If um, you're in a relationship, you've left your person and you've gone to another relationship, this is very important, I want you to understand that this is not accepting when you're thinking it's not quite right. It doesn't have to be red flags, to be honest with you, there may be red flags. For example, like um, I've said for years, if I ended out, closed out, I don't like to say closed out, I ended out, David, because I don't feel it's that kind of situation. But anyway, but um, yeah, I'll put it so I don't know how else to say it. Closed out, David, went to Twin Flame 2, and I was like, I got what I needed from Twin Flame 2. You know, he showed me that, yes, I am important. Slash. I don't know how else to say. Yes, you can meet babies, mums. Yes, you can see the children. Yes, I can come round after work and 
yes, you can come to me. And all the stuff that I was lacking with David. And I met someone else, same thing. Listen to me straight away. It's so interesting. Andrea, she tells, says they're twin flame. Number three, they have three, right? Number three, listens to them. I met someone else. I was, I was like, what the fuck? This guy was listening to me. And in the conversation, when I was talking to him, he was repeating what I fucking said. No offense to David, if he's watching, I'm back to that. Fuck knows if he's watching or not, <laughs> right? I tell him something, we're watching a film or something, and they told me, have you watched this film? I'm like, yeah, you watched that, and with me. That's how mad his life was, is, right? With, does he, um, to me, I'm like, does he watch it with another woman? He's forgot that he's watched it with me. And they'll say, oh, no, I work a billion hours, but it doesn't make me feel great. This guy I was talking to, chatting to him about two, three hours, and he was repeating, he remembered my son's name, and, and no one could even pronounce fucking Quan's name, let alone remember it, right? And stuff like that. So I was like, I can pull, I can have what I want, I can, do, do you see what I mean? It was that situation with that person that needs to work on himself. Now I, I'm happy, all good to go. So if you're like that, it's cool to leave that person. When you leave someone, even a marriage, if someone, if I was in a marriage with, say, David or whoever, and they cheated or they wanted to leave me, that's, I would never go after the person. I will work on myself. Like, I'll, I wonder what the red flags, did I miss the red flags? Even if I didn't miss the red flags, everything for a reason, let them go. So whatever, leave that person. It's very important because I feel that some of you might be with this other person and thinking, well, twin flame isn't coming towards me, so I'm just going to get with this person. No, 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 no. And as that's what I'm saying, I'm saying that, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. And I think that's why that's happened with me. For you lot who are thinking about, well, twin flame's not changing. Yes, every fucking tower reader is saying you're getting someone new. I'm just going to settle with this new one. Don't settle. Twin flames, like we're going to start are here to show people not to settle. Hence, your person is not supposed to settle in that situation, in a relationship, in a marriage, with baby's mum controlling them. It's the same thing. It's not about settling, okay? So, like I said, I didn't feel like I needed any nourishment from twin flame number two, and I felt perfectly fine. So don't settle. But some of you are like uh, twin flame... One, gone. Even twin flame, two, gone. You're happy with your new person? Happy days. But you still need mentoring. You're fucking twin flame light worker star seed, my friend. You still need mentoring. Don't mean like, oh, what, you're going to go treat it like a soulmate now? So let's see what the cards say. check out the Facebook like I said you want to leave a uh, ask a question ask people who's in, in this community who's doing free uh, image readings I'm not doing that yet mine to be honest won't be for a while I say a while that doesn't mean not forever but I would like to uh, work on my counts finish on off my counseling course and do this charity thing first but I will be doing it <coughs> But others have started, so if you want a free image reading, check out the videos in this community. Now, I've done a video, and it had and it had like 26 views. Now, I know I have shitty views, which is disgusting, but at the same time, thank you very much for you that do watch, because you, others who don't watch uh, and fuck off or, or negative Nancy's, Simply don't want to do the work. They want to do the pussy work. Other tower readers just don't even tell you to do it. Well, they do. They say, now you've got to work on yourself. Like that fucking works. Like you got to fuck me gently. It's reading said, work on myself. I bet don't work on myself. Now, we tell you over and over and over, insist that you must do it. That's why we don't have loads of views. So the one that had 26 views is simply I was just talking. Tarot, you don't need the cards. You don't need, the, it's a download. In fact, yesterday I had, I watched a video, all relevant to this reading, so uh, bear with. Like I said, this is teaching you. All this information I waffle on helps you on your journey. And there was a reader 
and it was a uh, source tarot or something like that, right? And um, she done a reading, it was three, four minutes. I thought it just popped up on the side. Well, let me check this out, right? It sounded pretty good, right? To be honest. And she was reading cards and pulling some out and not pulling some out and pulling some out. And at the end, she said, this is bullshit. This is made up. This isn't real. Um, and I think her point was that some tarot readers just pull out the cards they want. Now, it's not for her, first of all, to judge fucking anybody, right? And secondly, it's not even the cards, right? If I've just pulled out two cards and I'm still shuffling, right? It's what you feel the person. Whenever I do anyone on a channel, I tell them about lighting, how they look, to, if their sound's correct, uh, the position of the camera. I never tell them about the tarot reading because the tarot is down to you as an individual, how you do it. That's why I say my teachings of tarot is not like I'll teach you tarot, I'll teach you about the cards, the positions, how to uh, hear that inner voice of you. So I just wanted to say that because I definitely felt to hear that. So it doesn't matter if someone pulls out the cards, they don't use cards, or, or, or they pull out two, then they don't pull out two, it doesn't fucking matter. The message is the message that comes out of the person's mouth. I've got why, so why I'm saying that is that video with 26 views, go fucking watch it. Just because I didn't pull out cards, you're programmed the tarot, the, the fucking physical thing. Right? It's not the physical. It's what comes out the fucking mouth of the person. They don't need the cards. You don't need the cards. So just want to make that fucking clear. Right, let's do one more and then jump in. Knight of Wands, Seven of Wands, Star Card. <clears throat> oh, that moon again. I think it's a moon. Is it a moon or something? She tells pretty good with the astrology. Well, she is Miss Planet, Miss Universe, because that's a supermodel, right? Or some kind. Anyway, time ticking. Uh, I think it's a super moon or full moon, full moon or something. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> see, they still haven't come with a conversation. Hence, my throat's still going. When that stops, they will come and speak up. Knight of Wands, which is seven of Wands. Ah, oh, yeah, communication. Knight of Wands, One Wands, Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands, Communication, Start. So this is something about... They know, like I said with the initial energy, they've woken up to the situation. Before they was in this fantasy, right? This fucked up fantasy that it was... I'll give an example because this is what I was picking up today. Say you work in a supermarket and people um, ask you, you like, you like your job. You go, yeah, I really like it. And you get there on time and you stock up the shelves. You're really polite with the customers. You pack their bags. You wear the uniform. You've got the stupid name tag. You've got everything. And you do that year in, year out, right? And I, I, then I come along. And I say, what do you really want to do? And you go, I like to be an astronaut. And I love to fly to the moon. And when I get home, I look at the planets and I go on tarot and astrology and stuff like that. And I'll go, but everyone thinks you love that job. This is that, I don't know how to say, this was this fantasy, this, this fantasy world of what was or what could be. But in reality, it was something completely different they was attached to. Two separate worlds. That's why the uh, um, uh, Twin Flame scenario is two of pentacles. Two different physical fucking worlds. The world over there and another world over here. And two of pentacles means juggling. And that's this. Your person's waken up to, they've been defences about the casualness they have, they are, right? To you. But now they're healing that with a star card because you're the wish come true. And they were defensive and just kept being casual. De is that right? Defensive, defensive casual, defensive casual, right? To you. To, yeah, to you. Six of Swords is like trying to move past that. They're in this stage now of, okay, it's recognition of what they're doing. 
And like I said, with this working in a superstore, but astrology at home, it's like, but you're showing everyone that you love this job, but in reality, you're something else. When you get home, you love this astrology. The whole flat is all stars and moons. Do you see what I mean? It's like you need to change it round. And this is the Six of Swords. Stormy waters to calmer waters. And stormy the Six of Swords normally has a guide. So they could be getting some kind of guidance. This could be from, with this together, makes eight of wands. So they could be getting upstairs, telling them, Communication, love arrows from upstairs. This is your wish come true. Wish come true. Yeah, it could be because this is the planet, the star, which is themselves inner knowing, saying, "Look, you know, you need to move past these stormy waters of these fuckeries of these two worlds, this fantasy of what will be." It's like me saying, like I said with the example of the superstar, and it's like, but you've been there 10 years. Stop fucking deluding yourself that you're going to get into astrology. It's just a side hobby. It's just fucking casual. It's never going to be. This is a fantasy. This is weird. And that's what your person was doing, this weirdness. It's like a sort of, look, an illusion, the moon. Wasn't real. It was hidden. You were hidden with the moon. Nine of, oh, nine of cups, nine, nine of cups leads to ten of cups. Nine of cups is, it's a gap. Yeah, they're taking a break. It's like they're, this, well, I will say they're having a break. It's you uh, fuck them off, right? <laughs> That's their break, right? You fuck them off. So they're taking a break to work on their happiness. And this is to do, once again, with drugs, with um, influences. This could be other people as well. Because Nine of Cups is greed, selfishness as well. We're, like I said, this reading has got the Two of Pentacles all over it. Two worlds, it's greedy. You can't have both, right? You can't have it all. Yes, I can. I can do a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. My mum tried to do that. She had all these kids that, and then worked full time. I, I said to you in another video, I don't even remember having a conversation with my mum. She was spread too thick or whatever, whatever. And it, 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 then no one got attention, right? Well, the boys did a little bit more, but well, my brothers. But that's this. This is like, yeah, I, I'm giving you a little bit, giving my family a little bit, giving the kid a little bit. It's like, no. Something's got to give, right? It's a fucking delusion. It's selfish. It's greedy how you're doing it. And it's not working. So you smoke weed. You drink alcohol to, to uh, and uh, pretend this is a delusion that you're happy. You're not happy. And that's this mask I was saying about yesterday. You get home and you're fucked. So you drink or you do weed, which is selfish, that keeps you in this fantasy world and then you carry on and you keep being defensive no it's fine that i'm giving everybody fucking casual they're moving past it because they're getting downloads to fucking do it which is their inner knowing they know that it's wrong it's not enough and it's and it's detrimental to them it's, it's, it's a little bit here a little bit here a little bit here and there is a better way to do it and they know that and generally the fucking problem is, right? Well, it's not even a problem. The better way to do it is going towards you. The start. Listening to you. Healing what you say. Told David a billion times, take the kids to court. I can't afford it. You can't afford not to, my friend. You can't afford not to. Right? If I had to move into a bedroom, one uh, share a flat with a room, and that, and they said you have to do that for three years, and then you can get your daughter, I fucking do it, right? And then I'll get a flat again. There is ways of doing it. They just don't want to do it. They just so oh, well, I'll defend this casual behaviour, right? There's ways of doing it, and that's what Twin Flame Two does. 
He lived in a room for three years to save the money to take both babies' mum to court. Now he's got a studio flat. David won't leave his studio flat because he said he had to live in a room for years previously. But there are other ways. Or move in, right? Move in with me. Now, I'm not saying that's your situation, but I'm just giving a situation. It's always a way to do it which is connected to you. But they don't want to do it. This is stubborn. This one, Seven of Wands. Dra dragging their feet. This is seeing the path, but not taking the path. This is, with my Six of Swords, this is, she's just staying there. This is your person staying there, not moving forward, right? Or move. So this is staying in the uncomfortability of one minute calm, because Six of Swords is in calmer waters and stormy waters. If you're not in the fucking waters, you're not going out anyways, are you? That was your person, because they kept defending this little, this, this staying still, staying, this casual, this casual, giving a little bit, little bit, little bit. And that's what it, that's what it, this is. And, and they were delusional that it was making them happy. It wasn't making them happy. What made you, them happy was on top, this is you. And it's definitely something to do with you lot. We've drinking alcohol. It keeps coming up with weed and alcohol here in my readings. If you, um, if you can't get rid of something, right? And this is, this is a toxic pattern. So it's connected to you with this because it keeps coming up in my reading about addictions. Addictions is something that you can't stop stop doing. It's very well saying, oh, well, I only have a glass of wine or a couple of glasses of wine when I get home from work. But if I said to you, cool, all right, all good, a couple of glasses of wine, a couple of joints, a couple of beers when you get home from work, but can you not have the couple of glasses of wine, a couple of joints, a couple of beers? No, well, you're fucking addicted. Right? Doesn't matter if you admit it or you're not, you're still an addicted. And any addiction is bad because it keeps you in delusion here. See, see, see this fucking moon is a delusion, right? The moon. Shadow you need to work on because the moon has the shadow. And nine of cups is keeps you selfish, right? A delusion. Knight of Cups. I feel with this Knight of Cups, though, that it's like I said, they're working on this, what they're recognizing, what they're doing now. And then they're going to come towards you. They're, they're, it's like they're coming away. I feel with this card, he's, he's coming away. <laughs> this is my moving card. And I don't know because when I made the cards, I don't know why. But he's got all his stuff on it because of, I don't know why I, it was a download that this card was with your person's moving in. Now, I don't know why I got the download for that because many twin flames, their twin flame never fucking moves in. My, my sister was with her twin flame, I think, 20 years. Bless his cotton socks. I saw a video of him the other day. Oh, my God. I was going through my daughter's videos and stuff. And then I saw him anyway, and I clicked on it. It was a picture, and it was him, real. It freaked me out anyway, because he listens. He gives me the nod in these readings. 20 years, married for 15, has a, or something like that, has a kid, and never lived together. <laughs> right? Twin flames, it's very hard for them to live together. So I don't know why this card I made has lived together. But this is my moving in. And that's what I'm saying. Moving the, the result of a twin flame for your person to realize that moving in with you is the answer to all these, this dramatic problem. Now, I've got to make this clear with this addiction. 
Now, when they move in with you, will they stop drinking wine, uh, beer, and smoking drugs? Probably not. I don't see, this is my personal opinion, I can give a fuck what you think, right? I'm saying what is my opinion uh, with all you negative Nancy's to do with alcohol and stuff. Postman Pat, so hold on. Yes, I do get a lot of deliveries because the stuff to do up in my room. Uh, uh, anyway, um, if you have, if you smoke weed and you do it um, to relax, it won't affect you. Now it won't, right? You have a couple of glasses of wine and you're sitting out in nature and you're enjoying that. The wine won't affect you. Hence that when people walk on coal, coal fire. If you're psychologically psyched up, then it won't affect you. It won't burn your feet. It's the same thing. So what I'm saying is if they're more, this moving in towards you, moving towards you, moving in, being their true authentic Mr. or Mrs. Knight in shining armor is better for them. And that's what this planet is, is about healing that. Because like I said, I don't know why I made this card because it's very hard unless you're healed you that's watching healed then they come towards you and healed is something like my situation is when you're happy you still love your twin flame you still want them and you come away because of now you're feeling like it's just going round and round and round and you leave them and you either wait for say for example I wait for david to move in or for um someone else like david who I feel ready to move forward with in that situation. It's never about, oh, well, they need to heal and, and stuff and cussing them out and stuff like that. You're still twin flame. You're still here to do star seed work and etc. etc. So, yeah, there's something about that. They know that. They should be working towards moving in with you. Because generally, when I talk to the feminines, man or woman, about their twin flame and they've lived together, it's always the woman who's convinced them early doors that they live together and those that have forced the person to move in with them without them properly being healed themselves it's always a fucking nightmare always a nightmare dark night of the soul hmm this is uh, like i said it's opening up your person and hopefully you can see this is the fake self i said there's a mask from yesterday you see they're birthing out they're coming into their true or authentic self which you know is this, Mr. or Mrs. Knight in shining armor. You fill that with them, but because you're a star seed, it's not about you just say, mm, I just put up with David, never expressing how he feels, never telling family about me, never moving in, never getting married because I'm a star seed, I'm a light worker, and I can just feel him right now. He needs to, we live on planet Earth, people physically express emotions and do all that kind of stuff. He needs to open up. The dark night of the soul is for the masculines, man or woman at this moment. So let's close this out, then I can go and see what goodies I've got to work on to start selling. See, I do want you to meet my friends and family. That keeps coming out of me. And that's with this. This is like, if they move in with you, then the friends and family will know about you. I do want you to meet my friends and family. Let me sort myself out first. Mm. Please don't give up on me. <laughs> like I said, you, it's, uh, you, you either, if, if they... If you've met someone else, then that's the divine saying, carry on with this new person, this person, free will experience isn't going to change. Twin flame one, twin flame two. Could be, as, like I said, three groups here. You could be um, with someone and they ain't up to par or to the best, but you're going with them because twin flame one or two, twin flame two ain't great. No, leave that person and do a me, right? Or right? You're just happy. You just left that person and you're Jack Jones. But either one needs healing, right? Please don't give up on me. Whatever scenario that is, what's this before it cuts out? I want to love you, but I don't know how. That's how they're working out. I said the initial energy is they're working out how to step it up because say there's 10 things that's wrong with the 
which I can't say wrong, um, that you need, which is that missing for you feeling valued in a relationship, right? They're working out how to give you those at least five to make it an equal balance of those things to come towards you. So please don't give up on them on that one. But it's up to you. Like I said, it depends what group you're in if you've already given up on them. That's it. I haven't given up on David, but if David doesn't step up to the five or more, then yes, I won't be getting that back with David. That's how that's going with me. All right, so, um, but like I said, I'll still talk to him. Uh, Expandable 4 is out. Fucking hell, I might fucking tell him to come with me because I know he'll like it as well. Um, you see, you should be fine with your twin flame regardless of you're separated. If it's, it's stupid, nightmare, right? You still got more healing to do. All right, speak to you later.